Let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So I'm back here with Doug. This is our final beer episode. It's been a sort of long process here. I like it. Um, Absolutely. So we have the finished product, and you've given it a very interesting label and name. You want to explain where the uh, the name came from? Laura can dance. Laura. Yeah, it's um, just came to me. Uh, you know, one of the I think when we were brewing it, uh, Scott, and you were showing me some pictures from vacation. That's kind of where the, the, the thought started, and it was it, uh, you guys on vacation. There was a lot of dancing going on, if I remember, in that video. Well, yeah, but it wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that my wife took your wife well, that's to a particular a, dance class. It, it evolved into that, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Laura took Lisa to a dance class, and um, yeah, I saw the video, and it was, it was impressive. It stuck with me, so I'm like, you know, Laura can dance. So. Did, did Lisa dance for you when she got home? She didn't. No, my Laura doesn't dance for me either. So. No, well. It's, but that dance, it's, it's all about women's empowerment. It's not about dancing for us. It's about dancing for themselves. Well, there you go. So, but, yeah, so the beer is called Laura Can Dance, and I, I yeah, so. Let's crack it. Let's do it. Crack one open. That's what I came over here for. Can we see that label? It's pretty Sweet. awesome. Mmm. It's got a nice, uh, nice, uh, oh, I get a drink right out and all. Let's put it in a put in glass. glass. Yeah. Let's put it in the glass. There, there might be, uh, little bit at the bottom of this from the bottle conditioning of uh, some of the, the yeast, uh, which is fine to drink, but we're going to pour it out and then just leave a little bit in the bottle. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's got a good smell, good aroma. It smells nice, tastes nice. It's got a little bit of an IPA flavor to it. It's not nothing... So I'm not a huge IPA guy, but yeah, it's it's smooth and a little bit of a a tingle almost. Yeah, yeah. There was um, there was two hops that we use, uh, if you remember, and um, Ontario hops too, which was pretty cool. And um, citrus uh, was a lot of what I was going for with the hop. And then with the essential oils, we use lemon and lime, mm -hmm. and um, which isn't usually a flavor we get out of hop. So, but I do taste it, and it was a it's a bit of a crapshoot in the dosing, right? But yeah. um, I think it worked out okay. It's more of a hint, though. It's not. It's not overpowering. It's not it's overpowering. Not... That's what I wanted. Yeah, you yeah. definitely didn't want it to. No, you know, otherwise... a lime bomb or a lemon bomb, but yeah. which has its place on the occasional, you know, hot, you know, summer afternoon. But yeah, yeah. The uh, the maple syrup, I think, uh, too, gives it a bit of a um, a sweet, full mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. um, without tasting sugary. Without yeah. Well, I mean the yeast takes care of most of it and uses it to carbonate uh, but there's I think a little bit of residual sweetness just from some of the complex sugars that um, you just couldn't deal with but anyway yeah it's, it's nice so I'm gonna guess that we nailed it as opposed to failing it and the using the essential oils for making beer it's definitely given me uh, something to think about in the uh, in the brewing career for sure yeah mm -hmm. um, it's, it's different no pumpkin no, right? We're not doing pumpkin. Not doing pumpkin. Okay, no. I, no, no. Nobody should drink pumpkin. Beer. No, no. Uh, but there could be other essential oils that we could try for sure. We'll have to, you know, fall's coming, so we're going to have to consider something. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss, and if anybody has any ideas for us, please leave some comments. If there's any, if you, you know, you know something about essential oils and brewing beer, feel free to leave a comment for us in the comments below, and maybe we'll try it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean... We're getting the essential oils out of out of hops. This is like a whole other thing, though, right? So extracted essential oils. Um, yeah, and you know what? And we put them in at two stages too, right? So that was an interesting experiment mm -hmm. as well to see if um, active yeast could bioconvert some of the essential oils. And you know, it's pretty complex, so it might have been a bit of that. But I definitely get a you know the the lemon and lime are still intact. All right, perfect. So if you liked uh, our little video series of uh, putting together some uh, beer and essential oils, make sure that you uh, like the page, subscribe, leave us some comments, and we'll make some more. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Guys. Cheers. Cheers.